Tara here from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the video description below. I recently saw a question posted on the Monday.com Facebook group. What is the best way to set up a board if you need to gather information from your client. Let's just say um, you're doing an onboarding process and you need to collect more information, or maybe you're running some kind of campaign and you need to get more information from them. So I have set up two different ways that I think you can set up this board for this purpose. You also can do it if you need um, to collect documents from them, maybe have them sign doc. You may want to look into an integration with a with an app such as DocuGen or GetSign. Both of those I highly recommend. But for right now, we're just doing it pretty, pretty straightforward that you need to collect information from your client. So what I have set up here is I have a basic client board, okay? And the, the two options that I spoke about are either using a monday.com form or a super form. So I'm going to start with a monday.com form and explain the pros of it and then how you can set it up and what the whole workflow is. The advantages of, of a Monday form is that they are super easy to set up. All that you do is you click the press button, um, you click form, and you can set, really set it up in minutes. What a Monday form does is it gives you a link. Someone can fill out that form and it sends the information to this board. So like this information, this test client one was added to this board through a form. So you simply just email the information, the form um, URL to your client, and it ends up, once they fill it out, it ends up on this board. So let me walk you through the process of setting it up. So you can, first you have to set up your board. So you have to decide which questions you need to ask your client. So this is very basic. And what I decided here is I'm going to be asking them what's their preferences for newsletters. Like, do they want to get it daily, weekly, monthly? Now, obviously all these questions could change depending on what you need from your client. So here you can see, I set up an email column, a name column, a phone number, mailing address, and newsletter preferences. So if you go to form, first you would just hit plus and add form. You go to form, um, you can edit it and you can choose like which questions are required, which are not. If you want, you even can have conditional questions. I'm just going to show you the basic form that I set up. So here's the form. So I'm going to have my, um, I'm going to just fill out the form. So let me just fill out some of this information. And here, I'll choose my mailing information. Obviously, if this is the information that I would want, so I would make this a mandatory field, and I'll hit submit. Now, when we go back to our form, so you can see that the information was added here. I didn't, remember, I didn't fill out those forms, those columns, so, so that information is not there. So here you can see that I have the information. Now, one of the cons of doing this is that each time it's going to create a new a new line item on this board. You can set up another board that would automate the email with the URL to the, to this board. But if you if you have current information that's already listed on this board and then you want to update it, you can't do that with a Monday form. So this is one option. I just want to show you one other um, automation that I set up. I set up an automation is that you have the submission date of today. So the automation is when an item is created, set submission date to today. Now I'm actually going to pause this automation because now I want to show you the, the super form and I will then go back to the automation. So in order to have this super form, one of the biggest advantages of the super forms is it can update an existing line item. So let's say I already have client two updated uh, on my board, I mean, and I want to just have them update their information so I can send them a form from this board and it will update on this line item. I'm going to show you how that works. So the way that I set this up is I have the same columns here. Just for purposes of this test, I'm going to actually delete this information. So I created a link column. And then once I installed Superforms, so first you have to set up the super form. So if you go, you click on the form, you, because you want to update an existing line item, you have to make sure to click on the settings and click um, update as opposed to insert. That's like the most important part for this whole thing to work. Okay. And this is the same thing. You can decide what columns they should be able to update, what's, what they can't, what's required, what's not. And then you go to the integration center. And here I added an integration. You would just go to add new integration um, and you would search for Superforms. I'll just show you which one I used. So here's Superform. And I did this. When an item is created, generate, generate a link to Superform and put it in the link column with this text. So that way what happens every single time I create a new line item. So let's say I'll, I'll create another one. 
Okay, so now we have client number three, and you'll see that there's a link automatically to the form, which will update this exact line item. Now, the automations that I created here, the submission date is not set when an item is created, but it's actually set when the email is sent out. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add my email here. So you can see how this works. Okay, and the triggers that I set up, the automations are as follows. When, um, sorry, when newsletter preferences changes, it's going to set the automation date then because that's when someone actually fills it out. But when I add an email, I'm going to send an email to myself that's going to have this information that's going to tell your client, please fill out the super form. So I added my email. So let's go to check my email. Here I got, um, I got an email, complete your details. So here I'm going to click on the link. Okay, and here I already have company name and see I blocked this so I can't even edit it. So here I would just add my name and my email and let's say I want to add my phone number and I want to choose my my newsletter preferences. So I set it to weekly. Now I submit it. Now if I go back to the board, see my information automatically populated on this line item. So just to summarize what what we've did what we've done here we have two options of creating a board where you can get information from your client you either could send them a monday board and remember the most important part is it's a new item on this board the second option is that we can send them a super form and what super form does is it updates an existing client now let's just say you have a crm and once you're onboarding the client, you need more information for them. So the super form is a great way because then you can add more information to an existing line item. Like you don't need to add the information here because maybe you're using it on an existing board. I hope that these different workflows were helpful in figuring out the best way to be in touch with your clients when you're requesting more information. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below and remember to subscribe so you can get tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.